Ghostman Horror presents a British horror drama film by the name of Shepherd. Eric Black has recurring nightmares following the recent death of his pregnant wife, Rachel. Thinking he needs some space, he answers a newspaper ad for work as a new, as a shepherd on an island, a remote island in the Scottish Highlands. En route, he drops by his school childhood home, which was built by his mother, Glenys, who blames the death of his father on Eric's decision to leave them for Rachel, whom she implied have been adulterous. Eric throws his wedding ring into the lake and brings down breaks down after considering suicide. He and his builder Collie Baxter are ferried to the island by the half sighted fisher. His only contact who hands him a journal with a record his faults is set on the dilapidated cottage by an un Lit lighthouse, Eric finds a ring in a freshwater spring. The cottage is a shelf of journals identical to the one Fisher gave him. In one of those journals, he finds the fantastic writings of the other witch on the island. At night, he struggles to climb the stairs, his room due to severe acrophobia. Several events begin to occur. Eric wakes up the next day to see Rachel's old cup is flickily filled with hot tea. After feeding the sheep, he sees Fisher entering the otherwise locked world White House and leaving the island in a hurry. One morning, he is waking, has a waking nightmare in which a demonic Glenis stabs him. When Baxter goes missing, he searches for him through heavy fog and finds an ancient luxury liner in the valley. A bull, he picks up an old key and runs away after sensing the presence of a road figure from his nightmares. While reading the journals, he finds a drawing of the figure, titled The Wrecker, holding a lamp to lure a ship to a rock. He started to find the drawing of Baxter. He later finds that the, out, finds that the ring he plucked from the spring is a wedding ring that he threw away on the telephone. Fisher implies Eric is fated to be there by penance. Penance for making him confess that Rachel's death was due to his drunk driving. Dressed up his saved Eric used the old key to the lighthouse. After an adulterous, adulterous climb, turns on his light to Fisher's dismay. As he exits, Eric finds a ship ruthlessly laid and finds Max among them. But he disappeared the next day when confronted by the road figure. Which takes on Rachel's disguise, Eric modulates it, modulates it, and the cottage and the lighter Rachel gave him. Eric swims out to a boat, where but a ghost drags him under water. Eric wakes up ashore and taken to the police. When he's questioned, the full extent of his confession is revealed. Due to drunk driving, the car carrying him, Rachel veered off to the edge of the cliff, taken over by acrophobia. Eric is in the car, causing it to be unbalanced, fall to the ocean. Rachel Fisher phones Eric to say, and while his presence of penance for Rachel's death was over, she is angered that he broke the rules by escaping. It's shown that Fisher has killed Glenis using Eric's knife and planted his journals as evidence. Hearing the wind howl outside his interrogation room, Eric opens the door to see that he's emerging from the lighthouse back on the island. I give this a rating of four, three out of four, four devil stars. And as for extra little bit of bonus information, this was filmed, between, filmed during February 2019 was shot in Scotland and Wales. The Prince of Photography was shot at the Isle of Mull with his studio. Scenes shot at BBC Studios in Bar Bar Barton. Additional photography, second unit, was shot in North Wales. Underwater scenes were shot at the Underwater Studio in Basden, Essex. I hope you enjoyed the trailer. Bye-bye.
Time's in space, my sublime. Just that, right? The old cottage. That's your home now. It's just me and you, Pakistan. It's just me and you. Something's haunting you, Mr. Black. I can see it. You'd always pull back to what you know. You can't help but follow your blood. Master? Nothing that can't be remedied with a little honesty, son. Who's that? You play the devil's child. What have you done? You're a bad omen, Mr. Black. What have you done? A curse in the very ground you walk on. It was a selfish, ungodly hope. Cast down into the fires of hell. Quick, what? 